Oh my goodness, my friends. Take a look at my eyes. I'm squinting. The sun is so bright. It's minus 10 and it feels like minus 10. There's a tiny bit of a breeze, but it's got a bit of warmth to it, so it's okay. I think the sun's heating it up. And we're going to minus seven today, and we should have highs of minus three or four for the next week, according to, to uh, <laughs> the forecast. But it's nice, it's nice. Yes, I have a migraine, uh, oh well. Actually, not quite. I gotta tell you, I have blue treat. I still have quite a bit of it. And although MMJ Total Healthcare is out of blue treat right now, it keeps coming back. So as the moment they get it, I'll buy some more to make sure I have it. It is a wonderful headache remedy. I just had a dab of it, and now I'm going out for a walk before my afternoon nap, and uh, I can feel it start, the migraine starting to dissipate away. Why have I got a migraine? Well, it was minus 23 this morning. It's now minus 10. That's a 13 degree jump. And we're about to, uh, well, we're going to go about an 18 degree jump today. We had a 40 degree jump at the beginning of the year and there's just been too much of this. I, I'm stopped here because there's an older person walking ahead of me and I don't want to make it uncomfortable for them. Um, so I'm out having a much needed walk. I was out at hmm, 7.50 this morning to drive my son to school and I walked around the block when I did that. And now I just, I'm really tired. I had a real lack of sleep last night, but incredible mood. Uh, the last couple of days have just been so fantastic that uh, I'm in a really good mood, but I am so tired and I could lay down right now, but I have to be up by 2.30 because I pick up my son at three and we've got a few things to do this afternoon. So I am, uh, taken this opportunity to get a little bit of walking, a little bit of exercise before my nap. And I've been trying very hard to have shorter naps. Uh, I have found by having a slightly shorter nap, I sleep a little better at night. It is hard to say if that correlation is causation. You got to remember, the, for a long time, the murder rate in the U.S. Uh, followed, spiked every time there was a new release of Windows. This is a long time ago, but I remember it was taught to us in statistics class in university because correlation is not always causation. Just because two things follow a pattern doesn't mean they're linked. So, uh, these, these walks, shorter naps might be helping me sleep better at night. The Bubba Kush I've got again is for sure helping me at night because it's helped me before. So you, it, it's a whole bunch of, when you're a fibromyalgic, there's a whole bunch of guesswork as to, oh, I just did something new. Did it cause something? or I just felt something new, what caused it. And the problem is our lives are not standard enough that we can look back and say, aha, the only difference in this past whole week was I bought a different brand of toothpaste. So that's causing my headaches. <laughs> Anyways, I'm babbling, but that's what Riverside Rambles are, is me babbling, me rambling on while I walk along and gain some strength and move forward. I also had some great news about, y'all know that I attacked my finances last year and got everything settled down, got everything consolidated into one really large debt that I'm paying down over years and, uh, and got all my taxes caught up and everything, but now it's a new year. So I got to pay last year's taxes and 
and I owe a fair bit, but got some preliminary looks at it with my accountant and in talking to Canada Revenue Agency, and I really feel good, not only about this year, but I have a plan together, because I'm way under the, the withholdings that come out of my work paycheck, because I'm on disability, is only for two thirds of my income. The other third of my income, my disability, doesn't get taxed, but it does get taxed. They just don't withhold. So therefore I end up owing every year and it's really hurt me. So we just today put together the beginnings of a plan that will have me prepaying again and being in the position next year like most people when it's tax time, getting a little bit of your withholdings back instead of this year, the extreme anxiety knowing I have to shell out three or four thousand dollars within the next month or so. Now, I can do it because I put the money aside to do it. I can do it. I'll be br bloody broke again, but I'll, I had planned ahead. And, but this time I'm going to plan ahead even better by scrounging a bit more this year, but paying the tax a little higher. So <laughs> that was quite a ramble. Taxes, uh, migraines, anxiety I didn't even talk about. And you know why? Dave's not home, man. We'll end it with saying Dave's not home. Maybe he's on vacation. Let's hope. Let's hope he gets lost wherever he is and uh, or makes a new friend. No, I don't wish that upon anybody. I hope he gets lost. I don't care much for Dave. Peace and cheers, friends. Love and harmony.